how to prompt chat GBT and hey pie with your voice. If you don't know who I am, my name is Shanae Murray. I have about a million followers on LinkedIn and over 365,000 LinkedIn newsletter subscribers. My co-host today is Shankar Ponsole. I'll let him introduce himself very briefly. Yes, hello everyone. My name is Shenka Ponsle. In terms of voice prompting, first of all, I'll explain why I'm I'm so passionate about that. It's because I feel that whenever I use my voice to explain something, I'm more likely to be more verbose, literally. I take more time to explain in detail what it is that I want to convey. And what we're going to show today is two apps. So we'll use ChatGPT, of course, because it is extremely powerful, probably for general purposes, the best, most knowledgeable AI. And then we'll also show an AI that most of you probably are not so familiar with. It's called Pi or Hey Pi. It's a very conversational AI that also helps you work through a little bit more psychological topics if you want to. It has also definitely business use cases as well. The power of this is when you prompt something with your voice, sometimes it just comes out a lot more naturally because sometimes when we write, we're trained in grade school that we kind of change personas. We become more formal. We try to reframe the question to what we think that the AI will understand better. But sometimes you just have to use your natural language. So go ahead, Shankar. So again, I have my ChatGPT app, official ChatGPT app. I have that downloaded. Here we go. In the bottom, you see these uh, sound waves. And as I tap those, it will open a recording modal where ChatGPT listens to me and you'll see the speed at which it actually will also transcribe my voice. First, we're going to do a test. I'm going to click the sound waves. Hello, ChatGPT. How are you today? As you can see, it transcribed that in record time. Then I use the blue up arrow to uh, feed that into ChatGPT. It will probably respond to me with uh, it's just a computer program, so it doesn't have feelings. So let's get to business, essentially, right? So I'm going to take time because we can use the power of the voice now to explain a little bit what I do. I own a healthcare marketing agency in San Antonio, Texas, and I focus on direct primary care physicians. I help them create content online so that they can find more patients. As Halloween is around the corner, I am looking for a creative marketing campaign idea where I have newsletters on LinkedIn that speak to primary care physicians in the DPC movement, but that also follow the theme of Halloween so that it is a very effective marketing campaign. Campaign. As I'm done talking, I tap the button and it's converting to text. And as you can see in quite an impressive uh, time, it gave us the transcription here. And of course, I can tell you that I would not, I'm not the type of person who would have typed all of that in. There's a lot of information to digest here. And I'm going to hit the up error so we can see what uh, ChatGPT tells. As you can see, uh, ChatGPT says, Says, that's an exciting niche incorporating the theme of Halloween into your marketing campaign for direct primary care physicians can make your content more engaging and timely. Here's a suggestion for a three part Halloween themed LinkedIn newsletter campaign. One of the main differences between Hey Pie and ChatGPT, when you prompt ChatGPT with your voice, it will only text back. We're going to move to Hey Pie now. You're going to see that Hey Pie will give you the prompt and it will actually talk back to you as if it's your friend. Now, when HeyPi was developed, it's developed to be more empathetic than a ChatGPT or a Claude. It's designed to be more like a life coach or a friend to help you navigate more of life's personal challenges. The website for the app is heypipi.com. So you're going to hear with your ears and your brain, you know, what the different voices are for HeyPi and how it really is developing to be kind of like a friend app where it can talk back to you, not just give you the prompt. This has a, a very nice feature where I can now go into telephone mode, right? So you see here on the right hand side, I have these three dots, click them, go into telephone mode. As soon as I do that, it will actually start being interactive with me. 
Hey, Pi, how are you today? I'm doing great today, thanks. How are you doing, friend? I'm fine. I need your help with something. I have an upcoming marketing campaign. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Oh, that's completely understandable. Marketing campaigns can be really stressful. There's a lot riding on them. But don't worry. I'm here to help however I can. Can you share more about the campaign and what's got you feeling nervous about it? Yes. So I am a mindset coach and I want to do something along the theme of Halloween and I just don't have any ideas and I'm worried that what I will create will be ridiculous in my audience's eyes. That's a really relatable concern. It can be really difficult to come up with ideas that resonate with your audience. But let's start at the beginning. First, can you tell me more about the goals of this marketing campaign? Are you looking to get more customers or generate more engagement with your existing audience? Yes, I want to have them book a discovery call with me where we can talk through their mental blockages and help them overcome the fears they have. And I want to relate the fears to a theme in Halloween. Can't you pick different voices as well? Yes. Go to the uh, the sound icon and then long press it, and then you have six different voices to choose. Does it give you? Does it give us a preview of the voices? Yes. Uh, okay, so let's listen. Hey there, great to meet you. Oh, I'm God, no. your personal AI. <laughs> that hurts my ears. <laughs> great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. Hey there, great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. Hey there, great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. <laughs> I think I like that one. She sounds chill. <laughs> hey there, great to meet you. I'm Pi, your personal AI. <laughs> they need to work on these voices. Let's do something else. Hey Pi, how do I plan a six-year-old's birthday party and how do I invite a bunch of parents? Well, now we're moving on from mindset coaching to birthday parties. Ha <laughs> ha. That's quite a pivot, but I'm here if you are. When it comes to planning a birthday party for a six-year-old, there are tons of possibilities. There are games, crafts, and entertainment. Oh, like this voice. Can I ask if this party will be held at home or at a venue? And how many guests will be invited? I actually want to do it outside at a park or at the beach. And I'm thinking about 30 guests. A party in the park or at the beach sounds like a blast. And 30 guests is a great size for a six-year-old's birthday party. Not too big and not too small. Now let's talk about some fun activities that the kids will enjoy. For games, there are classics like musical chairs, pin the tail on the donkey, sack races, and egg and spoon races. And for crafts, you could do things like decorating cupcakes, making masks, or painting rocks. And of course, what's a birthday party without some yummy snacks? They'll get to stop. It's cool, so you could stop it, right? They don't have to go okay. through all that. But really, like... I like Hey Pie for more, I don't really go to Hey Pie for business or marketing related things, but I do go to Hey Pie for things like that. Like, hey, you know, I have to throw a party. What's the best way to go about it? What's the best way to send the invites and kind of just work through a process like that. That's kind of how I've compartmentalized it, where it's like ChatGBT and Claude is more business. Hey Pie is just more personal. Do you feel it already feels like a friend? That's pretty scary. All I can say, you know, I might have uh, sometimes consulted Pi when I had to work through some human resources related issues, and it does a great <laughs> job. It really does. I think that is again at the core of what we are looking at from now to the future is we need to see how can these AIs help us as business owners embrace it. Um, because the only other option is for you to say, I don't want anything to do with it. And as you can see right now, I think that's a bad idea because there's so much power in this. Does it respond or can you prompt it in different languages? I can try. I speak a few languages. That's Shankar flexing. He only speaks like six languages. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try maybe German. Hallo Pai, wie geht es dir heute? Ich bin ich wollte fragen, ob du auch Deutsch sprichst. Ella, is your keyboard having a stroke? Or are you just <laughs> oh having my a gosh. Stroke? That is hilarious. Yeah, totally here for it. So, but let's try a ChatGPT. ChatGPT, sprichst du Deutsch? This is correct German. So there's absolutely not like what we were used to Google Translate where it's like iffy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you could prompt ChatGPT with your voice in probably almost any language and it will 
respond with a prompt in that language yeah. that you Let put. Let me try French, just really, really okay. quick. Go ahead. ChatGPT, est-ce que tu parles français? Et si oui, est-ce que tu peux me donner un poème uh, pour uh, quelqu'un qui est très fond de marketing? So I asked it to give me a poem for someone who likes marketing. Yeah. Do it in Spanish. I'll tell you what to say. Or you know a little Spanish? Me puedes ayudar con algo? Hola, ChatGPT. Me puede ayudar, ayudar con algo, por favor? <laughs> Hola, sí. Claro que puedo ayudarte. ¿Qué necesitas? <laughs> yeah, that's good. It said, hey, yeah, what can I help you with? That's awesome. So we just did French. Spanish, German, and English, ChatGPT. Now, again, it's not going to respond in voice yet, but it does respond in written prompts. And then I do think that if you're an English speaker, just the experience of the voices and, and how it responds, because ChatGPT responds kind of how you would expect it to. It's very precise. It's calculated. But the way that Pi responds just in the minute or two where we were hearing the different voices and, and how it goes from, oh, okay, we're going to shift topics now. That's cool. It really is feeling almost like a friend, which is really scary. This is, of course, a whole different field of AI that is super interesting and exciting. We have heard of AI deciphering ancient languages because it starts doing things in the background where it, it teaches itself uh, languages. So incredibly powerful. And it it just shows that we are in a time where we have so much power at the finger at our fingertips and we just need to the limitation is our mind and i hope that what you take away from this session is that you understand in literally in your pocket you can have the smartest individual you have ever met starting today and you can walk throughout your life and you can talk to it you can ask it business-related questions, all kinds of questions. And we want to challenge you to really kind of push the boundaries of that a little bit because it will give you an incredible unfair advantage in anything that you set your mind to. God bless you. Subscribe to the channel and we will see you soon.